Hello everybody, uh, Dr. Rick here, dropping in on you. Hope everybody is off to a great start. It's Tuesday already, it's crazy uh, how time is passing. But anyway, here we are with another segment, uh, Black Voice Riding with Dr. Rick. And uh, I'm gonna be real brief on this one. Uh, but you know the routine. If you like what you hear, click the like button. Uh, hit the share button, hit the subscribe button. For those of you who have followed me over the years, you know the work that we do in the community, the research that has been conducted, the programs that have come out of that research, the activity and advocacy in the community, uh, everything from working with incarcerated inv individuals, domestic violence, mental health, uh, the Black Man Lead Rite of Passage Initiative, and so much more. If you believe in that work over the years, Show some love, show some support. If you need to know how to give, look in the description box and it'll tell you how to support what we do. Um, so uh, the news is that three of Diddy's cribs were hit by the FBI law enforcement. No, Homeland Security actually raided uh, three of Diddy's, the LA, the Miami, and the New York crib confiscated a bunch of stuff and uh, obviously if you don't understand how federal agencies work in uh, distinction are differently than state and local law enforcement organizations state and local organizations normally take jabs they jump the gun uh, they you know move uh, prematurely a lot of times you see people that have absolutely nothing to do with crimes get pinned up, get their houses run up in, all kind of stuff like that. And the mayor and the police chief end up backtracking. Well, when it comes to federal agencies like the FBI, Homeland Security, um, the uh, uh, ATF, uh, and other law enforcement agencies that deal with uh, different types of crime within the U.S. and, you know, whatever. Uh, normally by the time you hear about an indictment or an investigation or something being raided, there's evidence of something. And they are now moving to collect more evidence um, and my first uh, thing was like, what could possibly be there this late in the game when he knows uh, he's under suspicion? But then again, there's so many things that the average person wouldn't think of getting rid of, wouldn't think would be evidence. And sometimes you can get rid of something and that actually be evidence. So it's so many different elements and components to this. And while it may be interesting to pub to the public view and all of that that this is happening that's not the primary focus here for me the primary focus is again celebrity worship and the passes that we tend to want to give people who have achieved a certain level of what we consider of what we've been conditioned to believe is success uh it is not uncommon to have two point of views and people choose who's right by who's got the most money. Prime example, when Monique went on uh, Club Shay Shay and long before that, when she first came out and was going after um, Lee Daniels and, and Oprah and all of that and Tyler Perry, um, everybody was calling her crazy and because look, that's Oprah. You know, that's Tyler Perry, a billionaire. You know, and, and, and so then when she came out and this this the Shay Shay thing, they were comparing how much money and then Cat Williams came right behind her. And oh, did he come before? I think he came before the Cat Williams interview. And they were looking at well, Cat Williams is only worth this amount of money. Well, he's worth more than the, the vast majority of black people, uh, regardless of what he's worth. He's working during the weekly getting paid weekly what most are making but he's not making as much as the people that he's calling out which is actually the whole point in the first place but forget that 
the, it, it, my thing isn't to tell you who to choose, but my thing is to observe how you did it. If you choose to choose it because, okay, this person did this, this person did this, and this person did this, and I've seen their background and I know this, but the people he's calling out, I have called out before, and I have no, nobody knows me. Nobody is putting me in the same sentence or discussing me or asking me my opinion about these people, but I gave it because the few people who do listen to me need to hear it said so that when it shows up, it starts to build a pattern of, man, when Doc says this, this goes like this, and I've been killing it for years. I've been telling you what was gonna happen before it happened because that's what I do. I study sociology, I study psychology, I study human behavior as individuals and in collective groups, and I know how things work. Plus, I've studied politics and history and how things go down in this world and especially in this country. And I can tell you pretty much what's going to go down based off of what I'm seeing. So I've done that. But uh, the vast majority of people chose sides based on, uh, chose sides based on, you know, look at me, man. This person's worth this amount of money, and all he got is this here. You know, yeah, he jealous. He jealous. Maybe he's calling out something that's saying when he says gatekeepers, that's what he's saying. But I'm not even here about the gatekeeper thing. What I'm here about is I'm hearing this man. Diddy ain't did nothing that they didn't do on Epstein Island. Diddy ain't did nothing. What they did on Epstein Island was fucked up. Bottom line. And I know some people won't like the terminology. Hey, I'm, I'm who I am, man. I, I'm going to be me. I'm going to speak because, because we coddle way too much. We play politically correct way too much. We are sitting around playing soft while we get manhandled. And I'm sick and tired of it. And we play into it. We get led right into the slaughter and play into it. Go in jumping and dancing because we don't know how things work. How many times have I sit up and said that? We end up in last place because we don't understand how things work. We play along with our emotions. We are led by emotions. We are led by superficial things, by like how much money is in somebody's account, how much more success based on society somebody else's have. To me, success is being able to go out and create a, a, a lifestyle and opportunities for my family and not have somebody else pulling my coattail and my string and playing me along as a puppet just so I can keep what I've created and not be bothered. Because what you're getting now is another black man being undressed out of his wealth because he's crossed the wrong person. I guarantee you. There's this thing that all this stuff that Diddy's being accused of isn't new. It isn't a secret. It's been said a million times and it's been swept under the rug as gossip. It's been swept under the rug as rumor, rumor mill, uh, bull crap and everything else. He's been covered. He's been protected. And for whatever reason, he said something, did something or threatened somebody because everybody's got dirt on everybody. And now it's coming back on him. And my thing is... I'm all for standing up for black men. I'm all for standing up for black women. I'm all for standing up for what's black. But in standing up for what's black, it means standing up for what's right and what causes the least or no harm to black. When I sit up and look at some of the things that this brother has been accused of, and it's not just one person doing it. it, it I mean, this guy is like a walking cyanide capsule. I'm not just talking about the stuff he's being investigated from by Homeland Security, which is human trafficking which plays along in the same line of what was going on on Epstein Island. Um, that's one thing, that's huge, and I've dealt with that. Anybody's followed knows that uh, Mary and I have been champions against human trafficking for the longest, and we're actually dealing with some of that thing, some of the same stuff now. We are actually um, working and doing some things in that area still. And so, but, so, I'm, 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 I'm about stopping that, but it's bigger than that. Uh, this guy, people die. I mean, at a pace you gotta sit up and say, okay, that's beyond coincidence. People die and people go to prison. And this guy just skates along. 
And at some point, you have to sit up and say, okay, we, and, and what I'm talking about, I'm talking about relativeness, okay, in, in, in the sense of relativity, you're saying, okay, how many people did he harm? You know, how many people died? How many people we know about? And the consequences are the context of what happened that they died says that it was highly questionable the things that this man is supposed to be involved in and i'm not going through all the naming what i am saying is at some point you have to start seeing a pattern after some point you have to start saying okay all these people can't be in uh, a conglomerate conspiracy to bring this man down over the course of 20 plus years at some point you have to start giving validity to what you're hearing and at least ask yourself what the hell is going on now don't get me wrong i know what they do on the other side but that's another thing that we have to stop is i don't want my manhood validated in comparison to white men because there's some things that white men did that i just don't want to be a part of i don't want my legacy associated with it and so i'm not trying to do or get away with what white men do or get away with i'm trying to raise the level and the standard of manhood within our communities to a level of something that we can literally talk about the word honor that's what i'm looking to do that's my goal my goal is honor so if it doesn't represent honor if it's not honor honor is how we treat our women honor is how we care for our kids honor is how we support one another honor is how we stand up and defend the ground on which our people live that's honor Honor is saying I'm building something for the future, for my family, for my uh, kids, for for the for their family, for for their immediate families and kids, for the community at large, for the race at large. I'm doing something exceptional. I'm doing something extraordinary that will leave a legacy said that says I came here and I made my presence felt. That's to me honor. That's what I'm talking about. I don't want to say, okay, man, I finally got to a level where I get away with the same shit that white men get away with. That that that's not to me. That's not winning. That had that doesn't mean I've arrived. That means I've just found a way to be grimy and gully and 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 and, 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 and really uh, screwing people in the process. It, you know, there are just some things that are going to happen in this life. As a businessman, I know for a certain you get in situations and it doesn't go the way you think and people can get hurt and you have to worry about trying to fix that. That's bad enough. But going out purposely, sitting up, screwing people over, killing people, messing with their money, taking their careers, uh, raping them, all of this stuff. And I'm not just talking about that. I'm talking about all the stuff that the certain people get away with that black people want the same uh uh latitude to get away with i heard the same thing when cosby got caught I heard the heard, same thing when kells got caught up don't get me wrong i have mad respect for what each one of those men did in their professional careers where they came from and what they did but i've been around long enough and i've been around money long enough to know that it's a real thin line between how you build it. And when you build it on a foundation that's questionable, you've always got to worry about who holds the cornerstones of what you built. When you go out and you build it on your own, you're going to take some bumps and some bruises. There are going to be some doors slammed in your face. There are going to be some opportunities you never get, but you built it and there's nothing that can come along and easily snatch away from you either criminally, civilly, are, are, are for, on your reputation and all of these things matter and when they go they go for the whole girl they go for your money they go for your reputation they want to take down your business and uh they do it all for the sake and it's not just uh because you did something it's to kill your credibility and to destroy you so that you're never seen the same way again. And what we've got to start saying is let's start building with one another instead of attacking one another, instead of tearing each other down. It's people say, well, brother, you're tearing him down. No, he tore himself down. And my whole thing is I'm not out talking about canceling him. What I'm talking about doing is stop praising and defending stuff like that and we'll stop seeing it. When we start holding people accountable, regardless of how much money they have in their account, and when we stop giving people 
uh, passes and latitude that we don't give our regular black men and brothers solely because they're famous. When we stop doing that and we start saying the man that's taking care of his family, get love, get props. The man that's sitting up and supporting uh, his brothers, get, get love, get props. When we start giving love and props to the people who are really showing up and doing it the right way, we're going to see a shift. We're going to see things change. We're going to see things move. We're going to see things become better. But until we do that, we're going to consistently see things crumble underneath us and watch the people that we've put on these pedestals come tumbling off because they were never supposed supposed to be on pedestals before celebrities aren't our role models athletes aren't our role models billionaires can show you a lot of ways to get money and you take them for that they are blueprints they're not role models your role models are the ones you can look at and say man if they told a story about my life that matches this guy's life i'd be good and that's what you should be striving for, a legacy that speaks of you in a way that people will sit up and go, damn, I wish I would have known him. And so until we get that, we're going to always have these problems. Look, I'm going to get off, get in here and try to unwind. It's been a last few crazy days. Um, you know, uh, some things is personal. I'm not going to put out there, uh, but keep the family uplifted. Uh, it's been a couple of health scares and I'm just leaving it at that. Uh, keep the family lifted, but we are still fighting. We are still pushing. We are still standing. Uh, again, if you believe in the work we're doing, in the research we're doing, in the programs we're creating, in the advocacy we're doing, helping people find places. We helped a young lady. Uh, matter of fact, Houston helped this young lady. I, I'm, I'm not going to say it was my organization because it wasn't. My organization just participated in helping and showing up for this lady. Five kids, uh, and you know, and of course that everybody showed up talking about, well, how many daddies did, does the babies have and all this stuff like this. The bottom line is the sister was in need, meaning the kids were in need, meaning that we deal with the back end of social behavior after we get to it. And nobody ever thought maybe she was married and her husband died. Nobody thinks that because that's not how we think about the average person. We'll give the billionaire a pass. And we go after the sister that's struggling. I'm not saying we co-sign bad behavior on the bottom either. But, but what we do is say, we're not going to leave you down there struggling, especially with those kids. Let's pick you up. And this sister seemed to have it together, seemed to have her mind. It just fell on hard times. As a man that's had both seen the heights and fall, falling flat on his back, I know anything is possible. So I'm real careful with people. But uh, anyway, we're doing those type things. So again, if you, if you believe in the work we're doing, if you want to support the work we're doing, we definitely need it. So go in the description box and see how you can give and go ahead and make it happen. On that note, look, I'm going to get ready to get out of here. Uh, thank you again for letting me drop in on you for a whole 18 minutes and 10 seconds. I'm out.